just letting you guys know you can listen to my podcast in No Bleeps anywhere you stream podcasts or on my No Bleeps YouTube channel. Link in the description. Hey guys, it's Billy and welcome back to Spill Sesh. Today we are getting our minds off of the election. We're talking about some other news. We are talking about Austin McBroom getting called out for posting on his Snapchat story that he's not about these masks, being frustrated with these masks, being frustrated with the new rules, literally forgetting we are in a pandemic. What am I supposed to do now? I drove all this way and they're gonna tell me when I get to the door, you need a mask. So you guys, I just can't even wait for you guys to see this because this is like the most ridiculous thing. It's frustrating. It's disappointing. I expect it, but at the same time, I don't like do better. Let's get into it, you guys. So I'm pretty sure that Thay's family knows that we are in the middle of a pandemic. I mean, Catherine was pregnant earlier this year and she was even planning on possibly having a home birth at home with all of the rules in the hospital and some women not being able to have their partners there luckily she was able to have austin with her in the hospital when she gave birth to their son but i know they're aware we are in a pandemic because i've literally seen them go to the store and check out their juice boxes in masks like i i know they are very aware of this situation so i'm just a little confused as to why this week in particular austin decided that he was going to suddenly be shocked that a store wouldn't let him in unless he had a mask on and like why all of a sudden he was throwing a fit over this like it's not anything new it's not like it's all fresh and all this stuff where you could just like forget i feel like we've been doing it for so long now that it's like routine i have like so many masks in my car i have them hanging all over the house like I just, I have masks ready for whenever I need to go outside. I have hand sanitizer ready for when I need to go anywhere. Like, I just, I, do, I don't know. So for someone who has the privilege of like having all these luxuries in life, you think that they would have multiple masks in their car or that, I don't know, they would just know better. I don't know. It's like, I'm a little confused. Uh, basically, Austin decided he was going to go to the store. Okay, and he goes to the store and he's posting on his Snapchat and he's like, all of a sudden gets super upset. He's sitting in the car and he's like, ding, ding, ding. Like, just picture like you're driving somewhere, you're feeling yourself, you're listening to your song and then you pull up to where you gotta go. And he's like, I drove all this way and they're gonna tell me when I get to the door, you need a mask, mask required. And then he was like so mad that he was like, well, I mean, let me just go in like this and like puts his hand over his face as if like putting your hand in front of your face is the equivalent of a mask. And he's like, what am I supposed to do? Oh. Like, what am I supposed to do now? I drove all this way. And they gonna tell me when I get to the door, you need a mask, mask required. Okay, let me do going like this. And then he goes back up to the store and shows the freaking sign that says like masks required see i told y'all <laughs> and he's like see i told you all and i'm just like watching this like yeah it's like this everywhere everywhere i've seen austin take his kids to the doctor in these vlogs he, they've gone to the store like i said and they've always been wearing masks. I don't know why he thought on this particular day they were going to be like, oh my gosh, you're Austin McBroom. Yeah, come on into the store. No mask required. What? Like, I just, I don't know what to tell you. And so then he starts asking someone for a mask and they give him a mask. But I'm just like, dude, what are you doing? This is not good. This is not good. He's literally expressing that he's so mad and frustrated about the masks like i get it if you literally just like forget if you just forget to bring the mask like or you forget i don't know you're really busy in life and you're really frantic and you forget about this pandemic all of a sudden and you're just like oh oh my gosh like i'm so sorry or i don't know you just like deal with it i don't know i feel like why why get mad about it because I'm thankful that these stores are taking the precautions of making sure people are wearing masks because in the end, that's just helping everyone else. That's helping 
us as a whole trying to get over this pandemic like if they make one exception then they're gonna make multiple exceptions and then we're literally gonna be living like this forever i swear like people just need to follow the rules and i know that it sucks sometimes and that masks can be annoying but they're necessary and I don't know, I just don't think that he should have been venting this way negatively about masks on his Snapchat story. It just like wasn't a good look for him. Like, why are you so pressed that they are requiring you to wear masks? Like they're doing their jobs and they're doing it well. Like they're they're really doing it well. They're keeping people safe and you cannot get mad at people trying to keep other people safe at the end of the day. And I mean, luckily someone was able to give him a mask, but I don't, I don't know, like he had some nerve going into a store with no mask. I would literally be mortified these days. I just, oh my gosh. But a lot of people were coming for him after he posted this because people were just like, you know, how are you gonna get mad about having to wear masks inside the store when it's literally for your own health and safety, if not your own, your family's. Like you have little ones at home and you should want to protect yourself. You should want other people to protect themselves to protect your children ultimately. So this has just become like the biggest mess ever. I don't know what he was freaking thinking, but a bunch of people took to Twitter to vent about it once they saw it on his Snapchat story. And they said, ew, not Austin McBroom complaining about having to wear a mask. I'm sorry, uh, Austin McBroom. Didn't know this was an inconvenience for you. Why don't you drive home to your mansion and your roles and get a mask? Just to let you know, there is a pandemic going on where millions are being all over the world. Hashtag wear a mask. Man pulls up to a local store in a multi-million dollar vehicle, but can't carry a mask during a global pandemic, then proceeds to complain about it on his social media. The rich really do live in their own little world, SMH at Austin McBroom. And also at Austin McBroom, by not wearing a mask, you're putting your children at risk. At Austin McBroom, you literally bought two houses next to each other, but can't afford to buy a mask to stop being a selfish and protect everyone else from your nasty germs. I'm sorry, but was anyone else extremely disgusted by at Austin McBroom complaining and mocking about wearing a mask on Snapchat today or just me? Why is Austin McBroom being so open about how he's an anti-masker on his Snapchat story? At Austin McBroom, it's not hard to wear a mask to protect others, yourself, and your family. Stop complaining. I definitely get if you forget to bring a mask and you're just upset or frustrated with the way things are, but I just feel like this is not if you're an influencer and you want to complain about masks when you have literally pulled up to the store in a rolls royce you have the biggest mansion ever your family is healthy you are healthy everything is good and well like i just i feel like complaining about a mask is just not a good look it's the smallest thing that you could do to help other people and yourself and your family so I don't know you guys this is just a mess i was definitely so taken aback when i saw this on his snapchat story i was like what is he really complaining about the fact that masks are required in the stores i just feel like this wasn't a new concept to him like this is not a new concept he's like so mesmerized by the sign like look guys look at the sign i'm like yeah those signs are everywhere now everywhere and they live in california things are not good over there in la you think that they would want to wear masks, wear the masks even more for their kids' sake. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is a mess, a whole mess and a half. I just honestly am not shocked because it's Ace Family, it's Austin, but just embarrassing. It's just so embarrassing and unfortunate. But anyways, I hope you guys are staying safe. I know this week has been completely uh, like a mess. It's been stressful. Everyone has anxiety, but I hope you guys are doing good and hoping for the best this week, you guys. Anyways, I love you so much and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.